All right, big men, let's talk about explosions, shall we? Now, the thing about explosions, right, one, the one thing I've noticed is that, you know, less and less games are using explosions now just because, like, you know, it's it's a default explosion, you know? It, people are just used to how it looks, you know? It just looks weird at this point, you know? Like, why would you use it? It just makes your game look unoriginal. But, you know, explosions are kind of funny, I will be honest. So I'm going to be talking about them today, right? So the very first thing, and by the way, I, I look... I researched explosions like yesterday, right? Because I have never used them. I don't think any anyone has used them. Um, at the end of the video, I'm gonna like make our character like just explode. It's gonna be awesome. But yeah, we got the explosion. What do we have? Blast pressure, radius, joints, type, whatever. Okay, that doesn't matter. What we really want to do is understand how explosions actually work, right? Because like, okay, you add an explosion, and like it happens, and then it just disappears. You know, like that's kind of weird. Or like, oh, what is this time scale? interesting okay so you can like pause an explosion you can like continue it like wh what is this right you can make it visible or invisible change it the position change the parent you know change the explosion type which i think is like whether it destroys terrain or not uh and then all of this other stuff which i'll get to in a bit so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna make a script inside server script service and i'm gonna say i'm gonna say right we're gonna make a while loop uh, while wait, actually, no, you know what? Task wait. Listen, everyone's, everyone's been telling me to use task wait. So I'm going to do it. If I hear one more complaint, I'm switching back to wait. Okay. I've had enough. <laughs> while task wait to do so every two seconds, I'm going to make a local explosion, right? Instance th dot new explosion. Nope. I cannot type, bro. Come on. Okay. There we go. Instance dot new explosion, right? And what I'm going to do is I'm going to set the um, explosion.parent to workspace. Simple, right? That's it. Yeah, that's all we're doing. So every two seconds, we're creating a new explosion thing, and we're setting it. Yep, there we go. Um, fascinating. What the fuck? Okay. Yeah, so okay, explosions are a little messy at times, right? Like, like this? What the f- Okay. Nah, we should be good. We should be good. What is that? What the what? Okay. 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 So, what what exactly is happening here, right? Um. So, what we're doing is we're making a new explosion, right? We're parenting it to the workspace. And so, you know, it plays out. It does the explosion. And then, you know, it, it just deletes itself, right? And then, like, a new explosion spawns in, does the same thing, so on and so on. Now, we, you, you, may, you may have seen that the explosion wasn't working that well, right? It, was, it wasn't really, uh, you know, again, working that well, like I said. So this is where I'm going to go more into about, like, the properties of an explosion. Mainly these, um, these three, right? So blast pressure, blast radius, and destroy join radius percent. I don't know why, long names, Roblox, come on. So, okay, blast radius, right? It's this huge number. And it basically is like, yeah, the amount of force that this explosion will actually put on parts, right? So if this is very low, then it just isn't going to push anything. If this is really high, it's going to push them with more force, right? Very simple. The radius, again, fairly simple. It's just like how, like the area of effect. So if you're outside of this radius, it's not going to harm you. For fun, I'll set this to, well, actually, no, I can't. I'm going to set it in the script to 20, right? Because we're making a brand new explosion. Um... And then destroy joints, what this basically means is this is like a percent, right? So if this is zero, it doesn't destroy any joints, meaning that it doesn't kill you. If this is one, it means that the entire like explosion, like if you, if you get caught in, even in the very outer edge of the explosion, if this is one, it'll kill you because this means that like 100% of the radius is harmful. If I set this to like 0.5, this only means that like half of the radius is harmful, right? So if I'm like on the outer edge and it's 0.5, it's not going to destroy my joints, right? It has to be one for the full explosion to actually be harmful. Um, so like I said, what I'll do is I'll say explosion dot uh, blast radius is equal to 20, right? Like so. So let's see if I play right now. What's going to happen? There we go. <laughs> oh, wow. Okay. 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 Let's see that. Oh, splendid. Splendid. See, this is this is where it's at. This is where it's at, boys. All right, wonderful. Um, yeah. And if I wanted it to be not harmful, right, 
I could just set again the destroy joints thing to zero, right? So I could say explosion dot destroy joint radius percent equal to zero. And then what this is gonna do is it's not gonna destroy my joints, meaning that it's not gonna it's still gonna do that, right? So it still has an actual pressure. But as you can see, it's not gonna actually like yeah, it's not gonna kill me. Although I can rocket jump, which is pretty fun. Pew. Look at that. Look at that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. All right. Enough of that. Enough of that, right? Um, that's effectively the explosion, right? So that that's pretty simple. You can probably understand what, what that is, right? I mean, um, yeah, position, you know, time scale, um, explosion type, name, joints, pressure, so on and so on. Now, there is one more thing I need to show you before we have a bit of fun with explosions. Every explosion has a event called a dot hit. So let me show you what I mean, right? Let's say, you know, we create this explosion and then we say, okay, whenever this explosion is dot hit, right? Like so, well, then we, we connect it to a function and it gives us two, two values. It gives us the part that's been hit by the explosion and it gives us the distance between the center of the explosion to the center of the part, right? Um, so I can give the other part. And like, I don't really care about the distance here, so I'm not gonna use it, but you always have that as an option, right? Um, so yeah, we have explosion.hit, connect function, other part. So whenever the explosion hits something, you know, it's going to run this function and it's going to, you know, uh, get this other part that we hit. So what I could do is I could say print other part, like so. So now whenever any of the explosions hit something, yeah, there we go, as you can see. Yeah, handle, right, left foot, handle, handle, handle. Spawn locations, spawn locations. Yeah, so as you can see, it keeps hitting the spawn location, right? Wonderful. And then it can hit me as well, right? Yeah, there we go. So handle, head, and then if I move closer, yeah, there we go. So that is, that's pretty cool, right? What can we do with this? You know what I'm going to do? How about this? Instead of actually making the explosion, um you know, just at zero, zero, because right now the explosion's position is at zero, zero, zero. And by the way, it doesn't matter where you parent the explosion to, all that matters is its position. So if I have a part over here, for example, right? And let's say I parent this explosion to this part, it's still going to be here, right? So when I put the explosion inside of something, it's not going to, the explosion isn't going to play in the middle of the part that it's inside of. It's only going to, you know, play out in the world position. So no matter if I put it in the base plate or you know, this part or the spawn location, it's always going to be in the same position. Now, if I set the position to be, let's say, 10 studs higher, now it's going to be higher, right? Move this to here, it's going to be, again, same position, but just slightly higher, right? So knowing this, knowing this, what we could say is we could say, okay, explosion dot position. And this is where I'm going to do, um, like in a real game, you probably want it to be positioned onto like, cause you, like if you don't know the player name, you know, you don't know the name of the player who's going to join. You, you probably want to like go th loop through all the players and then do that. And, but I'm not going to do that. I'll just say workspace and we're just going to wait for child, the original lamp, which is my name. So, so instead of the original lamp, just put your name here. So yeah, workspace, wait for child, the original lamp, wait for child, humanoid root parts, like so. So what this is going to do is this is going to say, okay, um, every two seconds, we're going to make an explosion and we're going to position it inside of our player. So, enable to, oh, right, okay, yeah, dot position. Uh, yeah, okay. I forgot to give it the position of the humanoid root part. But yeah, just like that. So now, whenever I walk, as you can see, it's going to be inside of my humanoid root part. And if I time it just right, there we go. We can do a little, little nice jump, like so. And I think this is going to push the part away as well. Yep, there we go. Bam! How cool is that? Bam! Okay. Um, and I could set this to be like 0 0.1. Honestly, you know, if I really, really wanted to. Let's see. You, yeah. Yeah, okay, let's jump, let's jump, let's jump, boys. Come, okay, wait, you can't even see it. You can't even see it. You, oh, no, no, no. <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. You know what I'll do? You know what I'll do? I'm going to set the explosion because right now it's pushing us with way too much force. Okay. Way too much. Um, by default, the force is, let me see how much. Yeah. 500,000. That, that's a, that's a bit too much. Let's set it at, uh, 50,000. Okay. 50,000 is going to be the force. All right. Just like that. Okay. It's going to slightly make us jump. Okay. 
How cool is that? Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Okay. 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 Look at that. Yeah. How cool is that? Wonderful. Okay. So yeah, we have that. Now we're going to tie everything together and um, we're going to use the dot hit property, right? So what I'll do is I'll just take this part. I'll just uh, command D or control D if you're on PC and I'll, I'll just keep duplicating this part, right? So I'm just going to kind of keep moving them around like so, like so. So the idea here is to have a bunch of these parts. I'll just select all of them here, duplicate, move over here, duplicate that, move over here, duplicate that, move over here, duplicate that, move over here. So the goal is to just have a bunch of, of these parts, right? Just a ton of a ton of them, okay? Duplicate, move over here. Duplicate, move over here. This is going to make sense in a little bit, okay? So now, okay, we have all of these parts, splendid, right? And what I'm going to do is I'm going to say explosion, dot hit so whenever we actually hit something you know connect function um and what i'm going to do is i'm going to say okay yeah function we're going to get the other part like so i'm going to say if other part is a part right so if, if it's an actual part then we're just going to set it uh, set its color to be a random color so i'll say other part dot color is going to be equal to color tree dot from rgb and from RGB, it um, takes, you know, red, green, and blue. And that number has to be from 0 to 225, right? So I could do like 0, 100, 255. I mean 255, not 225, right? Yeah, like that. Or we could do, we could just say math.random from 0 to 255, like so. So this is going to generate a random number for all of the three values, right? So math.random from 0 to 255, math.random, math.random. Beautiful. So now this is just going to, whenever an explosion hits a part, and if that part is an actual part, then we're going to say, okay, then the color is going to be equal to this random color. So are we ready? Are we ready for this? Let's see. Let's see. Let's see what pops off. And... Hmm, something something tells me it's working. Something tells me it's working. You know what actually would be would be quite fun? What if we take this blast radius and we set it to B100? I don't know what's going to happen. Let's find out. Let's find out. There we go. There we go. S solid. Okay. That's amazing. Look at that. How cool is that? And if we jump. Yeah. There we go. We have our own nice like force field almost. That's ins That's cool. That's insanely cool. And you know what? As a final thing. Just for fun. Okay, I'm going to set this back to be like, like 30, let's say. What if I set the blast pressure to be like... Like this. You know, pretty big number. What's going to happen? Oh, okay. Okay, I'm sorry. Okay, sorry. Please, please, please. No, no, no. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Damn it. Okay. <laughs> you know what? Okay, you know what? As for fun, what if we do this? Huge number. Massive number. It's giving me an underline to how big the number is. Okay, I'm, I'm going to make it smaller. That's good. How far can I go? Oh, okay, okay. So this is fine, but this isn't fine. Okay, yeah, yeah. That makes sense. That makes sense, right? That makes sense, yeah. Let's see, let's see. Gameplay paused. Oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> and okay, because because I reset, it can't find me again. So that... That's good. You know what? That's good. It should not find me again. If I, if I set this to like something very low, 100... Yeah, there we go. Like, it kind of works. You know, it's kind of, yeah, like a little bit. But yeah, wonderful. Now we, I don't even know what this is for, but this is, this is, this is pretty cool. And if we actually wanted to, um, another thing we could do is, I'll just set the radius to be like 50. Uh, we could, we could say that the explosion dot visible is set to false, meaning that, you know, it's no longer visible. So we're going to get this effect where like as we're walking around, things around is just kind of like glitch out in a way, which I do. That is, that is pretty cool. I do. Act, I do actually quite, quite like this effect. Yeah. Yeah. We're walking around, you know, all these parts are like glitching out. That is, that is cool. But obviously it's not an explosion if we don't see it. So I'm going to set this back to be, you know, true. Of course, I'm going to set the pressure back to be like, like this much. And yeah, you know. That's effectively, yeah, yeah, look at that, look at that, oh no, okay, okay, come on, okay, okay. How cool is that? Yeah, you can just have these, like, 
Yeah. Can I escape? I pro I don't think I can escape. Okay. Nah. You know what? No, 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 no. We're not giving up. We're not giving up. We're not giving up. We're not giving up. Hold on. We're not. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. We're not giving up. We're not giving up. We're not giving up. Okay. Okay. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. 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 Damn it. Okay. Okay. We're hold on. We're not giving up. We're not giving up though. We're not giving up. Okay. Okay. We're gonna move away from the explosion, right? Then we're gonna go here. Right. Right. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. It's coming up. It's coming. Yes. I made it. No. No, 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 no. Okay, okay. Come down. Down, 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 down. What the hell? Bro. Look at that. It's like creating and deleting them as fast as it can. <laughs> okay, let's go down. Let's go down. Let's go down. Let's go down, right? Down, down, down. Yes. Now we're fine. You know what? I consider this a win, boys. This is a win. You know what? Yeah, that's a win. Anyways, like, sub subscribe, share. Um, I have a... Uh, a newsletter check the comments for that um that's amazing bro look 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 at this that's a whole explosion right there um <laughs> yeah that's the script i guess um i'm just gonna go ahead and delete all of these parts which probably should have put them in a folder which is another good psa play stuff in folders you know you don't want a whole messy unorganized workspace but yeah i'm gonna delete the script and we are back to basics Thank you for watching.